Well, hello again. Um, today I'm going to tie uh, another pack fly. This pack, pack fly is called the F the Flash Streamer. It's a, a pattern made by um, one of the uh, Danish pioneers in uh, in uh, in pack fly tying um, and pack fly fishing, um, um, Morten Valer. Um, I'm going to do a bit of a different uh, approach to this fly than, than he originally used because I'm gonna make this fly a little more easy than than he originally did. Um, this fly doesn't uh, need a lot of materials it actually mainly consists of flesh and today I'm gonna tie it with two different colors I'm gonna use red and copper um, and then I'm gonna use some big fly fiber a material I use in almost all of my pack flies um, what we're gonna do is is we're gonna tie in a tail first on, on this fly. I've cheated a little and, and uh, put on a, a metal head to, to add some weight to this fly. And uh, I'm gonna take the two different colors I'm gonna use. The red and the copper. And I'm gonna take a small bundle of each. So I'm gonna cut off a red bundle like this. And then I'm, I take the equivalent amount of, um, of cover flesh. Like that. I take these two uh, bundles and I and I, I lay them on top of each other, but in a little different lengths, so that the flesh won't uh, won't uh, kind of stick together. Then I take take the flesh and I mix it up a little. <laughs> this is a, a little tricky, but uh, it's it's manageable. Like that. And then I decide how long I want the tail, and I want my tail to extend approximately this long behind the fly. So I tie in the material here, which will leave quite a, quite a lot of uh, material um, uh, pointing forward on the fly. But that's not a problem because I'm gonna use this material anyway. I'm just gonna turn it around in a second when I have applied enough thread so the, this fly will be durable, like this. Then I'm gonna turn all this flesh around and tie it in so I get uh, a tail that is uh, thin at the end and then it gets a bit thicker as, as the flesh is doubled in, uh, in volume. Like that. This is the first stage. Like this. Um, this is a fly that is very lively in the water and has <laughs> quite a lot of, uh, of big, fl uh, big pikes on, uh, on its conscience like this. Um, normally, uh, the original way to tie this, then I would have made um, a lot of different um, uh, dubbing loops uh, with flesh to, to give uh, this fly some volume. But instead of that, I'm going to use a bundle of big fly fiber. Big fly fiber is this great, fantastic material that is very, very curly in one end, and then it's very, very straight and very, very fine in the other end. And I'm going to use this curliness because I'm going to tie in this bundle of big fly fiber, and you could use uh, yeah almost any color, but white is, is, is uh, fine neutral color. Uh, but if you had some red, you could use that for this fly as well. And I'm gonna tie this in just um, uh, in front of where where I finished uh, off the tying in the flash. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna tie it in uh, with where I, I I take the material and I fold it so it so it lies all the way around the hook like this. And then I'm gonna make two uh, two loose turns with the tying tying thread. I'm gonna tie this down like this, secure it very very safely using some thread like that and then this will lie uh, pointing backwards on top of the tail like that. I'm gonna cut all this off and then I'm just going to move forward. I'm gonna leave this part of the hook without any materials um, but that's okay because what we're going to do now is we're gonna make a loop and then we're gonna put some flash in the loop and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna spin that using a, a dubbing twister and then we're gonna make a, a very large very uh, fluffy very vol uh, very um, very big hackle of, uh, of, of flash. So I'm gonna double the thread like this, so I get a loop, secure it, 
throw the thread around it so the loop is, is closed in, in one end and then I'm gonna hang this aside because now I need to pay a little attention and this part is a little tricky I'm gonna take the red flash and I'm gonna take the cover flash again if, uh, if you haven't seen uh, seen some of the other videos I've made of, of pike fly tying, then uh, the flash, it's very important to have the right uh, the right type of flash, because if you don't have a flash that is, uh, that is straight and not uh, curly, then, uh, then the, 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 the pike's teeth will get caught in the flash, and uh, this will mean that after uh, the first pike you, you catch, uh, you will have this very, very tight, very, very uh, messed up bundle. Uh, uh, instead of instead of a fly, you can just pick out of the pike's mouth and then uh, go on. So I take one bundle in red, and then I take one bundle in cover. Like that. Take the two bundles and lie them on top of each other. Again. I, I lay them on top of each other so there is a little difference that the cover is, is longer in one end and the red is, is longer in the other end. I don't know if you can if you can if you can see that. You can see the red is shorter there, but then it's longer in the other end. This I does to this I do because I want uh, to have uh, um, a more lively effect. Then I take all this flash and I put it inside the loop like this. Then I spread it out carefully, and the flash you put in closest to the hook will be the flash you will have like the the under part of this uh, this flash haggle, and the flash you have uh, uh, on the farthest end will be the flash you will you will see at um, coming out at uh, at the end uh, will be the f the front haggle actually. I take my my dubbing twister. Put it into the loop, and then spins it. It's important when you tie f uh, pike flies that you have a thread that is uh, that is, is quite quite durable. And as I spin this, you will see the effect I will get is that the flash will go around like a merry-go-round. And what is actually happening is that because I am because I am twisting the thread. All the strands of flesh will get trapped inside, inside these, uh, inside the two threads, and will actually be woven uh, and strengthened quite a lot. So I take my scissors and then I carefully um, releases the flesh that is uh, that is that is um, curled up here, like this. So I'm taking all, all out all the the trapped fibers, so that I have um, the flesh still is trapped inside uh, the thread, but that I have all the ends loose, and so so what I get is 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 a very large, very large, very shiny hackle of flesh, like this. Like this. I'm gonna hold all of this <laughs> glittering mayhem back, and then I'm gonna tie my thread up to where I want to finish the fly up to the 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 the, the middle the middle head, like that. So what I do now is I motion motion my fingers, and then I force the flash to lie on one side of the thread because what this will do is it will make um, it way way easier for me to actually turn this as an ordinary hackle around the hook. As you can see now I have all the flesh lying down on each side of the thread so when I start to turn this will be where I want it to be, 
like this. Holding everything back, I start turn, turning. This is a bit tricky. This is a bit tricky. But the effect of this looks just amazing in the water. Like this. Still holding all the materials back. And, and as you can see, uh, the copper flash is going to be the 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 layer that's going to be underneath so I'm taking my scissor and just just helping some of the some of the strands that is tangled like that Holding everything back here, and then turning once more. Again, holding everything back. And turning. Holding everything back and turning. Holding, yeah, <laughs> as I said before, holding him, holding everything back and turning. And then you just continue to do that until you reach the end of the fly. You reach the the weight, the tie the the dubbing loop down like that. Cut it off. Make a whip finish without catching too many strands of flesh. Like that. Cutting it off. And then you can start to to carefully pull out the strands that has been entangled. If you want to make the finish of this fly look a little, a little more beautiful than, than this does now, you can uh, you can always apply a marabou hackle or something like that. But uh, but um, uh, I don't normally use use that or do that. This is this is uh, sufficient. So like that. Then I'm gonna remove the fly from uh, from from my vise. Hold it up to the light, and then I'm gonna cut off the big fly fiber because at the moment I think it's way 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 too long and uh, the main reason I have the big fly fiber is just to give the fly some bulk give it some uh, uh, give it some volume and so so I cut off the big fly fiber and there you have it uh, a flesh pike streamer and an easy tie except for the the flash hackle which can be a little problem to uh, to manage but this fly because of all the the flesh strands will be of different lengths lengths um will be be a wonder in the water yeah, it, it will looks like a dream come true um well as i was saying um the flash pike streamer a very nice fly that works under almost any conditions, and uh, that really, really know can can find you some uh, some nice pikes. Well, those were the words.